Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Dirt Bike Channel. This week we're going to take a look at cleaning up our machines. So when I see an image like this with my bike all dirty, I know that uh, we've been out having some fun. And uh, that's what's all, what it's all about, right? Going out there, hitting the trails, and uh, a lot of times as you're doing that, you're just going to get your bike dirty. That's what happens. That's what they're designed for. They're called dirt bikes after all. So little dust, little dirt, little mud, that's natural, you know. But at the same time, we want to keep our bikes looking clean, right? So how do we do that? Uh, a lot of people ask me, like, how do you keep your bike looking so clean? So we're going to gonna go over some of the things that I do. Um, none of this is rocket science. I, you see me struggling with this stupid Generac, <laughs> the stupid Generac pressure washer here, trying to get it started. Right about now, I'm kind of cussing it and I'm saying this thing can't be a KDM, otherwise it'd be started by now. So it looks like I've got it fired up, and you don't have to have a pressure washer. Um, for the first few years that I was doing this, all you really need is a hose and a bucket. What you really need is water and some, you know, a brush. You'll see me using a brush here, uh, a way to shammy the thing off, you know, because you need to hand wash, you need to hand dry. Um, and the key to keeping your bike looking good is simply elbow grease. So well, we'll go into that a little bit more and uh, getting in all the nooks and crannies. The, the, uh, the pressure washer definitely helps for that. I mean, I don't want to lie. It will help you to get into some of those hard to reach areas a little bit easier, a little bit faster if you have a pressure washer but it's definitely not, you know, mandatory that you have one. So from time to time people say, oh, you must never ride your bike, it looks so clean, or, or they're like, you know, how do you clean, how do you keep your bike looking so good? There's a simple, simple solution. Obviously you could have a pressure washer, um, but you don't need it. Uh, all you need is a hose and a brush because this is about elbow grease. So this is how you make your bike, keep your bike, looking good is get yourself a brush I got this on well Amazon for eight bucks I think makes things heck of a lot easier to get into all these different little you know nooks and crannies and make your bike shine obviously we're gonna need to uh, hand dry because uh, that's where a ton of this is gonna come too is with a chamois that you just get in all little places. You know, it takes you a few minutes, but you can do all this in usually 15 minutes and get looking good. As far as soap on this, I'm using Meguiar's Gold Class uh, car wash soap that I just picked up from like, uh, you know, you can get it from Czech or, or AutoZone or something like that. And that and that also helps, you know, to get a decent soap that doesn't leave a lot of residue. So take it or leave it, but uh, that's, the, that's what I'm using here. And at this point, we're just going to go through and uh, rinse this thing off once we've, you know, loosened up those particles with the brush right before we do our hand dry. Bikes aren't clean until you hand dry them. This trick also works on cars. Cars are not clean unless you hand wash and hand dry. So we're just gonna hand dry everything here, wipe it all down. This will mean you don't have water spots and it'll get all the just dirty water and everything that you've been spraying around onto your rag, not on your bike. Honestly guys, the secret to getting your bike looking good and keeping it looking good is right here doing the hand dry. Um, it, you know, if you don't hand dry, your bike just doesn't, it, it'll, and nothing will, nothing will ever look clean, you know, if you're not doing an actual good hand dry with a chamois. So this is the, uh, the big, the big reveal here. Look, we're hand drying our bike. Boom. Check that out. Okay, and the last little trick is to uh, put on the finishing touches and blow everything out with compressed air. Uh, at least all the hard to reach places. So what's the benefit to this? Uh, essentially, you're just, you're just keeping water out of places that you don't want it to pool up and, and uh, corrode things. 
you're keeping it out of you know out of the way so it, it doesn't uh, make your clutch harder to pull. There, there's you know there's a whole bunch of benefits. The main thing though are aesthetics. Makes everything um, makes everything look better, work better if you can dry it off. You know after you've uh, after you've gotten it wet. So obviously this part also is is uh, is not mandatory but it definitely does help to go a long ways in, in uh, keeping things looking better longer. So that's it guys, I know that was a bit of a rush job, but if you've got you know, some elbow grease and a hose and a brush um, and a towel, you can get your bike clean. I, the pressure washer makes it a little bit easier. The, uh, the air hose, you know, compressed air also, also helps to get out of those nooks and crannies, get the water out of there, you know, so you don't have standing water, but that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the likes. And uh, if you want to see more of this programming, go ahead and uh, subscribe. That helps me know that we're on the right track. And uh, give me any ideas you've got for uh, future videos. I can put those on the pile. Uh, we'd love to cover the topics that you're interested in. So uh, yeah. Thanks for everything you're doing out there. Thanks for watching, and uh, appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.